What's up guys, I'm about to hit you with my intro real quick, but before that, just wanted to give you guys a... Uh, just real quick, this video, I'm gonna explain everything, but... Um, this, I'm gonna go over a lot of combos, and that's where the videos start to get lengthy. So, if you are struggling with a particular weapon, skip to where I talk about that weapon. So if it's guns, if it's spear, um, lance, I mean scythe I didn't really go over. So if it's about Scythe, uh, I would just, you know, maybe not right now. But, uh, yeah, whatever legend you main, I just recommend going to that legend. But not yet. Go to go to him after I get my little, when I, when I start doing the combos. When I start doing the combos, that's when everything gets really kind of lengthy. Because there's just so many weapons in the game. Uh, but yeah, I'll see y'all. Okay, let me pause this music. <laughs> so loud. Uh, Alright. So, what is up guys, it is Lepo Wars, so this, my name is Rebecca in the video, and in this video, I'm just basically helping silver, I mean, yeah, silver players. Um, I, I really want to mainly, this is mainly dedicated to my one friend, Caleb, he's a new player, he doesn't really understand anything yet, he's understanding, he's slowly understanding, he's gotten better with combos and stuff, but he's very new, doesn't know a lot of everything, like different uh, signatures and stuff like that, so he's new. This video is just to help him... Um, what I think he should know as a silver player and how to, how he can succeed right now as a silver player. Before we get into like the big stuff, I just want to do over like the small stuff real quick. I recommend heavily to play strikeouts. If you don't know who you want to main in the game, play strikeout. Um, and also friendly twos. Friendly twos is just a good environment because you you have a higher chance of winning than you do in, in strikeout. And don't play experimental if you're new. If you're new, don't play experimental. Um, stick to these two. Uh, and if you if these are the safe, this is the safest option. Pick this. You're gonna have a high win rate normally. Um, and yeah, you'll just have more fun than you because you'll win a lot of more matches. Strikeouts. If you don't know who you want to play, literally just go here and press random. I'm not on my main account right now, but. Come here and play random and you can just go up against people you can have if you want this person this person and you can test out three different people at once um this is how actually i learned scythe uh, another, another thing to get into real quick there's like you guys can see stats there's different stats here um as you can see high damage but then low damage she has more dexterity stuff like that really matters a lot like the newest legend right now she's like one of the fastest legend if you put on her stat how every hero works you you have to get to a certain level, and when you get to a certain level, like level nine with 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 Taros, then you can put on this stance, the dexterity stance. So it takes away one of your strength, and it puts puts one dexterity. If you want a speed stance, it takes away your dex, but it puts your speed, and it'll always take something away. So right now I only have these stats. With more dex, I definitely have every stat. So damage that, defense, speed. And dex, it always takes away something. To be honest, if you're new, you can just rock base, but try to play around with it. The worst thing in this game is to have a low speed. Sp high speed is like pretty much meta. High defense is it can be overlooked if you have like good other stats. Cause like for her example, she's a good legend, but okay, I just started talking for way too long and rambling about uh, all the stats, so I'm gonna try to make this a bit shorter. So for strength, the more strength you have, the the more damage you do, obviously, and uh, less less strength means you do less damage, obviously, right? For defense, um, it doesn't actually reduct the damage you take, so you take the same amount of damage as everybody else. But like, say a move that should have killed me, it won't kill me now because the force of that move, of how far it takes you to where you're gonna get eliminated, is like less like your character moves like not as far anymore um so you don't die as easy for dexterity the one uh below strength say we both have uh like cannon for example if we both do a neutral attack at the same time um i'm gonna be able to move before the other person because my dexterity is super high uh so if my dexterity is high we both do a neutral attack i can do another another attack before you or move in, a, in any direction I want before you. It's not as OP as that sounds. I made it sound OP. And move uh, speed is just basically like uh, moving back and forth. You move faster. Which is actually really big. Uh, the more you start to get higher. But for now, I guess if you're in silver, it doesn't matter as much. But it will eventually. 
I used the main Rayman for my when I started playing Brawlhalla because he was in the rotation one week, and then he disappeared. I bought him. I played it and I rocked with him to level 50, which is a very high level. After I got him level 50, I just noticed I was not succeeding at all to be honest uh, so I had like a very from silver to like almost to high gold I was like using my spamming techniques and it was winning me a lot of games like I got to high gold so it was really good but then I started losing a lot of matches um, and I just could never get the plat I love Rayman but like he's not gonna work he's not working I remember just playing playing and I wanted to learn scythe I didn't like guns I didn't like lance but I did play gauntlets because of Rayman so I said let me try Mordex because I can play gauntlets at least right did Mordex in, in strikeout with a bunch of other people it was horrible scythe combos I tried and he became my main I, w I remember I tried to do Petra like I tried her Petra I tried, I tried Jay Young I tried so many different people I just didn't they just didn't click with me and I was always just nervous like am I gonna really forget like leave Rayman and practice somebody else like I'm just gonna get worse people gonna play worse but it's one of the best things I think I did personally so you could spend your entire like now and then seven months with this build bar and then switch to a different character literally it's fine so don't think too much about your main just pick whoever you have funnest with okay now that we got all this out of the way we can actually go to the combos oh yeah i did also I forgot to say ranked is also good to practice right now i'm in and i'm in i'm in silver a little uh video i'm doing something for y'all right now let's go into the training room and i want to show you guys uh basic combos i feel like everybody is able to do at, at a like a low level i'm not calling silver low level but like i feel like this is really basic and this is just stuff you should know combos wise i always like making this boat bar just feels like i need to do that all the time but so after you pick whoever you want you go to does it doesn't matter where you pick but um but pick boat bar because come on man it's boat bar so go up to here so go up to here and then go to cpu Make your guy like in the middle you know, of the floor. Come back to your character because uh, it will stay like that. Um, go to damage reset, I mean position reset, and put it on when grounded or when time, but I prefer grounded when grounded. Damage reset on. Then just pick whatever weapon you want to practice and you can practice here. So that's how to get here. And also turn off item spawning because it's not necessary. So. It doesn't matter if you're armed or unarmed, this will all be the same. So, there's there's neutral, this is side light square, so this means I'm going this way and I'm pressing square, so it looks like this. This is down light, which means I'm just holding it down. There is the, the same thing, but it's in the air, neutral air. Side air, this is a side air. And then this is a down air. And there's two, ver there's, there's not, it's, not, it's not like two versions, it's just whichever direction you go towards. Um, yeah. Now, it doesn't matter if you have weapons on or off. These will always be the same. So this is down light. This is side light. Neutral. You know? Down air. You know what I'm saying? N nair. Um, nobody actually ever explained what that means to me before. Down air. Like, dare. Down air. So dare. Down air. S side air. Sair. Neutral air. Nair. Nobody ever explained that shit to me. So I just heard all these people saying this shit and I never understood for very long. Like literally, like I've known this like maybe like three months ago I found this out. And I've been playing since like the pandemic where, uh, no, not like, not consistently obviously. Because I would be a flipping pro if I was consistent. <laughs> um, so first combo I recommend you practicing is, um, down light into side light. Oh, or it's like down light into Sair basically. There's two for battle boots. There's active input, which means you can you can like change your animation. So you can either do this version or this version. So that's a kick. And this is a a kick going towards them basically. You want to do down light into sair basically. So like this, like that. And you can control whichever one you want. If you want this or if you want like it doesn't matter. Just do whatever one you whichever one you want. And just come here and practice this. This is one of the easiest combos to do. This one's really easy to hit as well, but the higher you will, people will start dodging. You hold, there's two side lights. This is one side light. So this is the light version of the side light. I'm just tap, I'm just going in the direction. I'm not holding it. So like, look, like that. And then there's this. That means I hold the side. I'm holding the side. And I'm, I, 
and then he does that. So what you want to do is side and then share. Kind of like the first one, but different. You can, like I said, you can choose whatever one you want. Side, side, and then heavy. I mean, uh, sir, and sir. This is a little confusing with the words I know, but try to just understand. And if you don't, try to just do it, and you might get it, okay? Moving on to gauntlets. Gauntlets, this is the only combo I want you practicing. Like, seriously, forget all this grabby and all this stuff. This stuff. You don't need to practice that. All right, but what I want you, what I want you practicing is side light recovery. Trust me. In silver, you will have so much success with side light recovery. Side light recovery. It's so easy to hit, and they will not dodge. And if they start dodging, it's okay because that means you're getting higher. Because the higher elo you are, the more people are gonna dodge. This works so easily. And if it doesn't work, try to do something else. I guess try to try to you know, but mix this up with it. This is a killing option, and it is so much damage, and it's so good. Now, now I just wanted to say all these games were recorded in silver um, rank. Uh, and at the end of the video, I'll show you guys in case people, some people don't believe me because, you know, when I say this stuff really works, I speak from experience of playing in these ranks before, previously, and the stuff I used to do. So yeah, side light recovery, like I said, it works. All the combos I'm going to show you, they all work. And if you practice them, literally look at this, like the game basically started and he's already dead almost. Like, so yeah, just trust me when I say all these that work and boom, dead. So, yeah. For sword, I, this is an easy combo I want you to practice. It's really good. It's really consistent at lower elo. So side light, and then you run with them and you do like uh, neutral. Now, you have to like, if look, if I just do a side light, I'm not going to be with them. So you have to like run a little bit with them. I need to like do uh, neutral light. And it's really consistent and it works. Um, yeah. It's actually one of the combos I actually did for such a long time. Even in high gold, I could see that being successful. So that's a really good combo just to know. Um, but then there's better options you'll learn and you'll stop doing that. So with this, I literally want you practicing this. It's like literally so consistent, it's so easy. Out of all the combos, other than maybe the, the battle boots, like uh, the first one, like the other one did not really, but th this is so easy to hit and it's so consistent. If you want to kill them, that's a true combo. It works at all health. Side light into Sair. You need to jump Sair. It has to be quick. It's, it won't be true if you don't do it quick enough. Um, something I forgot to say is to do that combo with orb. The one I told you in the beginning. It's side light into down light. It's really easy. And I actually just found out it is true. I think so. People can't dodge out of it. It's really good. And uh, yeah. For cannon, honestly, this one is pretty easy to dodge out of, but if you, I don't know, if you're playing cannon, it's already kind of a hard weapon, but the, the easiest combo I can give to you is just do side light, side light, and then you jump, and then you say basically, so it looks like this. It will hit, it's not going to be as consistent as other combos, but it will hit. Obviously, don't just do these, con like, this, this is not, this is a killing option, but like, if you just do this in the entire game, people are going to get, you know, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of options, like the easy options. So like obviously people will be like, oh, you need to do this and do this and do that. Like no, you can't. You're not gonna do that stuff when you're in silver. So I'm just trying to give you guys like little like options that are pretty fairly easy. Now I'm not accusing my boy of anything, but 
Cause, Cause technically I'm doing some, but it seemed like he was also doing some. Cause like you know, for silver, I ain't gonna lie, he was playing kind of, he was playing kind of good. <coughs> Smurf, <coughs> sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, he's playing, playing kind of good. All right, all jokes aside, I was actually struggling this match because I was limiting myself to side lights there. Um, but this is what's gonna happen, you know, um, your side light stare is not gonna work It's not gonna be as consistent. Uh, so you got to learn other combos But yeah, you this is this is what like gold like peak Maybe not even peak but like goldish looks like people will dodge they learn to dodge in silver this this would have hit like six times already Maybe he would have dodged out of the six maybe like twice um, but yeah you even see me going to my sword because I just at, at that point I'm like okay I got my clips I got like you know I got y'all to see the thing now I can actually start playing normal and trying against this guy because I could side light Sayer, if he's dodging all of them it's not gonna work and you need to like you know play better um, and have more things and to, to get, I, listen you guys are still in silver if you're in silver but eventually you guys when you need to start getting better enough to read people's dodges but for now don't worry about reading people's dodges but you know uh, something i forgot to mention every free rotation like every week when there's a new rotation i'm not completely sure but i'm, I'm pretty sure it has every single weapons every single weapon every rotation i'm pretty sure but i could be wrong for lance the easiest combo to do is side light down light at certain health you have to wait a little bit before you do it. Uh, I learned that from Coslix. So you do it. So you do a side light. You jump, and then you do this. But you do it really quick, so it's not gonna go that high. It's gonna go like this. Another one, honestly, listen. Especially with Lance, it's such an easy weapon where you can like kill people. Um, if they're jumping a lot, just do a sair. And if they're on the ground, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Just do it. Hit them with this. Hit them with this. Like you could go a whole game and kill somebody just like this. Um, I, I, I really don't, it's happened to me, not like that necessarily, but, yeah. For a site, I might have to make an individual video for this, like, of what I understand at least. I guess a combo you could practice is side light into down light. So I'm fast forwarding this because, uh, Sarah, Sarah's not bad, it's just, you know, it's a bit lengthy. Even if you're hitting them, it kind of just takes a bit of time to kill or to get down, you know? Um, I will say though, this is really good. It's really good for kill option. It's really consistent, but it's kind of slower compared to like side air, down air. Um, this one is almost like a must know basically. Like this is builds up so much quick damage and like it's, it's just something that like, you should honestly practice and learn as fast as you can. Cause this is something, especially if you main lance, you should really know this. Now I will say, after doing all of that, you know, it's super easy with the lance. Once you go to grab the scythe, trying to do the side light, uh, down light, it does not work. It, it really doesn't work just like that. It's super, it's like one of the easiest things to dodge out of in my opinion. Um, it, the, the weapon scythe is meant to be dodged. You can, it's meant to be, it's supposed to be like a reading weapon. You're supposed to read what they do afterwards and somehow get a follow up attack um after they dodge and that's why i want to make a non not too complex video on the site to explain that makes sense where you can actually get value out of it but i just feel like i, I, I don't want to waste my time doing it in this video uh but i would think i'll get to in another for hammer i'd say it's like it's literally just honestly the easiest thing i can give to, for you to do is just do sarah just do sarah like line it up line it up and then just hit with a sarah with axe is more of an options you can do uh, I recommend just doing, trying to do dash and then neutrals. It will work a lot. So you dash neutral, side light, you jump and then do a neutral. Side light, neutral. And you do you have to do it fast. It's true if you do it fast. Same with hammer, just do stairs. Literally just do stairs. It's, it. it's really good, does a lot of damage. I actually did not have the footage, so I actually had to go to get, uh, to replay to show y'all the game. And yeah, here it is.
Okay, for, for blasters, honestly, I just recommend you do downlight into a jump, uh, what's it called? Downlight, jump, uh, sair. With guitars, honestly, pretty easy weapon. I just recommend doing side light and then neutral. Literally just do neutral. It's such a good, like, you will, it's, it's not, it's dodgeable, but for the most part, you will catch a lot of people. So like that, you can add your SIGs with it. Or you could just literally just add another, like you could do a recovery with it. This if you're wondering what these song choices are, um, like I could get my phone and edit some songs onto it and crap. Like I genuinely just don't care. I'm, I'm just trying to make a video right now, mainly for my friend. The Share Factor, I'm just using their, their music. And I, I honestly, they have good song choices but I don't want to keep searching for them, so you guys just just, just bear with me, okay? Also, uh, downlight into jump stair is actually really good. It's really consistent, too. Okay, with spear, you just want to practice honestly doing this downlight. So this is side light into downlight. Now this is actually dodgeable, so I just this is the only time I want to show you guys. Uh, if you if they keep if they somehow keep dodging out of that, like because it is really easy to dodge out of, you can hit them instead of doing this. Because see how they're just dodging out of it every time. Um, just do a side light into a jump recovery. I mean neutral. I mean neutral. So this is a, a neutral. So do. Side light, neutral air. Side light, side light, neutral air. And you'll hit them. Um, it's really consistent, trust me. And sometimes, if you do it like too far from them, they might not hit. See how that's not hitting? You have to, I think it's because it got nerfed too as well. Like the range of this got nerfed a little bit. You gotta move a bit close to them. So this, move a bit close. See how that's like just barely an inch? I can hit them. So just to move a bit to them. With great sword, honestly, so greatsword, if you do the same direction twice, it's gonna only do two attacks. But it has it has a neutral attack, a side attack, and a down attack. So if you mix those together, even if you do down light into side light, side light, as long as you mix it up once, you can do three attacks. So but if, if I did if I did um, down light down light, it's only gonna do two attacks. So it doesn't matter if I do down light I mean, I mean uh, side light down light side light. It doesn't matter what I do. It is always going to... Okay, I'll come. Give me one sec. It will always be true. Okay. It will always be true. Uh, and not true, not true. It will be three hits is what I mean. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Just just try to mix it up. Honestly, nothing I'm going to tell you with this one. Just go up and, att and attack them three times. Now you see, like, I'm missing a lot of my, like, uh, side light down lights, so then instead of doing that, I switch it up to doing, uh, neutral, and it does work. Uh, I was just, I just kept on doing the side light to uh, down light because I wanted to, you know, for the video of me just catching people with it, but, like, even at these low ranks, you can see people, like, know to dodge the down light spear. Um, so yeah, but like I said, this guy was very weird off, but, like, he was very weird off stage. I don't know why, but and um, and then he actually did disconnect because I hit him with discs. I thought he was just messing around. Uh, to be honest, like just play around with great sword. Great sword doesn't really need uh, a combo. How to do combos? Just play the weapon and just try to do three attacks on somebody all the time, and you should be good. Okay, last one is bow. Uh, battle boots and how easy it is to just combo. Side light. Downlight. Practice doing side light, downlight. So then just just do a side light, downlight. 
do that first. Just practice that, that side light, down light. If you, if you feel like you're confident enough, you can add in a neutral. Now, I was not going to add this into the video, but uh, I came across a pure spammer. Um, this guy was just spamming uh, Artemis SIGs. And this is actually a really good method. Now, I, I got a bit ticked off when fighting this guy. But this is actually a good method. I just don't like spammers in general. But for silver, this is really good. I recommend a lot of people actually try out. Chat, don't like, don't not do combos, but if you're struggling, try to start spamming and mix up combos with that. Try to do both. Uh, you'll see it will actually improve your gameplay. And I don't know what kind of spell I got put under or something, but the next player I got was also a not normal. I mean, I guess spamming is normal. This guy was just completely bizarre. I don't understand what kind of a player I got after this. But he was the most randomest player I've ever risked. i am be honest with you. This guy was like so random. Like, I don't want to show you all everything. But like, the randomness of all of his decisions were so random that I don't think he knew what he was doing. I, did, I could not predict <laughs> sometimes what he was doing. Well, yeah, like, I could verse somebody at my own level and have a better understanding of what they're doing compared to this guy. He was literally playing a different game sometimes. I don't, I don't know. He was just, he was just doing his own thing and I was, like, so confused on everything. Um, yeah, he was, he was something else. Another thing I, I recommend you practicing. Another thing I recommend you practicing. Now this is this map's a bit wide, but something I recommend you practicing on your own time is just going really far down, and just coming back, going far down, and coming back up. Because a lot of people just don't know what their characters are capable of. You can also just like do this as well. Just come around. It's not hard. Once you get the hang of it. Um, with certain weapons, it does make it hard. Like if I had lance. That's a pretty dumb idea to just practice that, unless I'm forced to do that. So in-game, you would never do this, unless uh, you just had to. I will say, don't just do this in a game randomly, because it's easily punishable. But just so you can get used to just being, you know, not on, like, just being floating around here. Just being, you can, like, okay, yeah, I can get back if I need to. That just You should just get used to that. And also, spamming, like, spamming is not bad. Spamming is definitely not bad. Spamming and mixing up your combos is very viable. Alright guys, so that's all the weapons for combos, simple combos you can practice. Um, that was every weapon I'm pretty sure. I don't think I missed any weapons. If I did, I mean, I might delete the video and re remake it or something. You've somehow made it to the end of the video, and um, yeah, this is me, this is me showing you guys, like, I actually did play this. I was in silver, and I was playing matches, it says ranks right there, and it's the same people you saw in the video clips. So that just proves this does work. Um, if you, if you practice these combos and you can learn them and, and you can do them in the game. I did, a lot of these say like losses next to it. It's cause I'm actually, I was actually, I was still in silver, but I was trying to rank myself. I wanted to go to bronze for a different video. Um, yeah, we're going to start trash talking in bronze or something. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, this is supposed to be educational towards my friend. His name's Caleb. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helps you. And if it doesn't, or if it does, just tell me you guys in the comments if you guys have any questions or anything. I can try to answer them. I could make a video. I could comment and respond to you. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Um, nothing too crazy. Okay, Rebel, edit this and put it after all the combos. So I'm going to talk like I, I just did all of everything.
And go back to Tesca at the end of this. Uh, I just you should just get used to that. Okay, now add add that part. Okay, good, good. I know you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So first combo.